Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tepping Flamingo and I'm in a different room today. Why? Because I'm actually going to show you what I pack whenever I go on a trip. As far as um, any of my, my business and my craft stuff goes. So I have a little Etsy shop and I make a lot of homemade jewelry and accessories. Things from guitar strings, seashells, I make uh, waterproof bracelets. In fact, those are my best sellers. And whenever I go out of town, I want to be prepared for any orders I may get. And sometimes I like to create a little when I'm gone too. So I first think about what I need to bring as far as my shop goes. Well, of course, I need to bring all my inventory. Fortunately, jewelry doesn't take a whole lot of room. I have this little bag, I used to sell 31 bags, and I got this for my office, my little office, so all my inventory goes in here. Not long ago, I had to actually pack really, really light, so I shoved everything in here. <laughs> and this, this actually worked out really well, and it fits perfectly in here. I'm also going to have to put all of my patchy, patchy, packaging, I can't talk, my packaging things in here so when that order does come through I'm able to wrap it up and get it in the mail. Most of my items I know how much they weigh but every now and then I get somebody that orders multiple things and sometimes they'll be a little bit more weight than normal so I want to make sure I bring a portable scale and I put it in here. It's uh, a thermal type bag but it goes really nicely in here and it's padded and it protects it. Again another 31 bag. Just FYI you're gonna see a lot of 31 bags here. So into my little office it goes. Most places I go are either to see my kids or maybe my parents and everybody has a printer. I have purchased uh, inexpensive printers for some of those that uh, maybe did not have a printer. Uh, I always supply them with ink and paper so I don't use all their stuff up. But I still bring extra paper just in case maybe they've run out. So the paper goes into my little office. Actually before it goes into my little office I put it in this bag. Now this is not a 31 bag. I got it one time when we went on a cruise. So in addition to the paper going into that cruise bag, I also have all my mailers. I take quite a few of these Mylar mailers. I got some little padded ones, some bigger padded ones. Each of my pieces of jewelry, I always put them in one of these bags. Depending on the size of the jewelry will be depending on the size of the bag. So an assortment of colors and sizes go into another 31 bag. When I was a little girl, my mom always taught me to write thank you notes. So I have some really fancy paper here that I always add a little thank you note with each of my orders. Or if you want to um, add a little note from yourself, maybe it's a gift that you're purchasing from my shop, just let me know what uh, you want me to write on a note and I will uh, include that instead of a personal thank you note. So it goes into there and something else I always do is I carry some tissue paper with me too. Now when I'm traveling I just use white tissue paper. I do offer free gift wrapping if you want it. You have to let me know. So I need to make sure that I have enough tissue paper in case I do get some uh, request for gift wrapping. Which also leads me to some twine to tie it all up. And then of course I need my business cards. In they go. And then we have some clear tape if I have to wrap something up. And then of course I need packaging tape. I always need that to put the address label on. So in this goes into my little office. So here's my little office all packed up and ready to go. Now for my supplies in case I have to make something. Now this particular time is a road trip and we're only going to be gone for a few days and I don't really necessarily have to pack light. So I'm just going to take all of my wax cording with me. I do have some uh, wax cording for instance, let's see, 
Let me get it for fruit flies right here. Okay, so my orange. I don't have a whole lot of orange left. And so I got a whole new roll of orange. If I was going on a trip, maybe if I was flying or I needed, you know, to limit my what I brought, then I would not bring both of these because I have a lot of double in color. But this time it really doesn't matter. I usually keep them in this little bag right here. And so it's coming with me, the whole thing. Thought I'd come in here and sit down. <laughs> uh, I wanted to show you how I pack my tools. So I love this bag. Again, it's a 31 bag. It's supposed to be a lunch bag, but it's really nice. It opens up wide. Um, and so I can see what all I have in here. And again, it's padded. So what do I put in here? Well, actually, it really all depends on what I'm going to be working on. Since I'm only going to be gone for like three or four days, I think it's four days, I don't really need to bring a whole lot. I do need to bring a ruler, so we'll put that in there. Uh, I need to bring, I always like to bring a crochet hook. I have a big one and then I have a smaller one. So those both go in there. Got to have a pair of scissors and um, I'm not sure I'm going to need these this time, but I'm going to put those in there anyway. And, and you always need a hole punch. This guy I really like. My business cards are not rounded. And I like the looks of them when they are rounded, so I use this. Plus the fact they fit into those little organza bags a lot better. You never know when you'll need a bead reamer. And I always got to bring my trusty pin. <laughs> uh, let's see. I need, I need some round nose pliers. And um, I, I need some cutters and some flat nose pliers. But when I'm traveling, I don't usually like to bring my good ones. Um, so I'm going to bring these, and here's my cutters. Sometimes I do need two flat nose pliers, so I'm going to go ahead and bring both of these. Sometimes when I'm tightening things, I may want to use both of them, or if I'm opening up a, um, a um, what do you call them, a jump ring, uh, sometimes I'll use that. But most of the time, I do like to use these to open up jump rings. So that'll go in there. I like to have my memory wire cutters, especially for uh, my guitar string um, jewelry and ornaments. So those are going to go in there. I always like to bring a file. And this guy, I really like this guy. It is a split ring opener. And honestly, I like to... Um, Keep it in its original container because I don't know if that thing could get knocked off, but just in case, I like to keep it in there. I always bring a polishing cloth to polish up some jewelry and a clipboard and then an eraser and a pen and I need to get a pencil. I also need to make sure I bring a lighting source so I can melt the ends of my waterproof bracelets. But all of that fits really nicely in this thing. And then I put it in with all my cording in that little bag. Now, if I'm going to be gone for a week or two, I will bring some other things to do. Uh, I will also bring... Um, some of my photography things and one of the photography things is this um, piece of fabric that I really think helps whenever I'm filming or sometimes taking pictures. By the way, I want to apologize. The lighting in here is horrible, but we're having some pretty major storms right now. I don't know if you can hear the rain uh, on our um, little... Uh, what do you call those skylights, but it's raining pretty hard and it's dark in here. But anyway, back to some of the other things I bring for my photography. I always have to have my shell. This makes a really good palette uh, to display uh, mostly my bracelets and some other pieces of jewelry. And I like this little gray um, vase. I really don't know where I got it, 
but earrings hang really nicely on them, on this. And so I always bring that. And then um, for my background, in addition to that piece of fabric, I went to Hobby Lobby uh, years ago because I was trying to find a good um, background to photograph. And I found these wood slats. <clears throat> There's see, one, two, three, four, six of them. But it was still kind of too dark, so I whitewashed them. So they're not like white white. They kind of look like maybe some beat up something or another that maybe you would find either on the beach or maybe a building that um, has been has weathered on the beach. That's kind of the look I wanted since most of my stuff is uh, beach inspired or organic type jewelry. But anyway, that's pretty much what I bring. Seems like a ton, doesn't it? Well, it is quite a bit, but I always have to be prepared for any type of business that may come my way. Most of the things in my shop are one of a kind. So that means it's one listing and once that's purchased, it's gone. But there are a few items in there such as my guitar string Christmas ornaments that I do make over and over again. And so when I do have those listed in my shop and I don't necessarily have more than one available, I do have to bring the items that I need in order to make them. So if I need to bring beads, charms, uh, split rings, or any type of other findings, I have this little container that I'll put them in. It's uh, a top and a bottom, and so this can fit quite a few things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven compartments in here. So it can fit quite a bit and it's not very big. So there you have it. That's what I bring when I travel. I know a lot of you do have your own little online businesses. I'm kind of curious. Do you just close up shop when you travel? Do you even travel very much? Unfortunately, my kids are strung out all over creation, and so in order to see them, I have to go here and there, but I don't want to close up my shop. That's why sometimes if you do purchase from me, it may come from Louisiana, it may come from Florida, it could come from somewhere out west, it could come from Virginia or Tennessee, who knows? <laughs> but if it's not coming from Louisiana, that means I'm not home. So anyway, I hope you found this interesting. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for some more jewelry tips and jewelry making, unboxings, and all that kind of fun stuff. Mostly, though, I hope you all have a fantastically wonderful day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo signing out for now. Bye-bye.